Welcome to the Daily Report on November 21st, 2024. I'm Lindsay Reiser. Tonight, a new choice. President-elect Trump picks a new attorney general for his cabinet after his first option withdraws from consideration. This has another controversial cabinet pick. Pete Hegseth works to win over senators on Capitol Hill. Former Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates is now withdrawing his name from consideration for the role of attorney general. Your initial reaction? Uh, relief. He withdrew. I respect his decision. Appreciate him offering himself for service at level now to somebody else. A police report was released detailing a 2017 sexual assault allegation against Pete Hegseth, now Trump's pick to lead the Department of Defense. The matter was fully investigated and I was completely cleared. The Justice Department submitted a plan to break up Google after a judge ruled the company was holding too much power in the search engine business. The star of the season, Turkey, is way down, 16% less than last year and the lowest it's been in five years. Even though the meal is cheaper than last year, prices are still 19% higher compared to 2019. President-elect Donald Trump has named his new pick for U.S. Attorney General. It happened about six hours after his first choice, former Florida Congressman Matt Gates, announced he was stepping aside. President-elect Trump has named former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi as his pick. Bondi currently works for the conservative think tank America First Policy Institute. She was also a member of Trump's legal team during his first impeachment trial in 2020. Gates had been under a House Ethics Committee investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct, including that he had sex with a minor. Gates denies any wrongdoing. Gates reacted to Trump's new AG pick, saying in a statement, quote, Pam Bondi is a stellar selection by President Trump for attorney general. She's a proven litigator, an inspiring leader, and a champion for all Americans. I want to bring in Ed O'Keefe right now. Ed, thank you for being here. What do we know about Bondi's relationship with the president-elect and uh, her credentials? Lindsay, this is a 59-year-old uh, legal professional who's been... The legal battle between conspiracy theorist Alex Jones and the satirical website The Onion appears to be just beginning. Why Jones is now suing the publisher after it bought his controversial media empire at auction. You're watching The Daily Report. Welcome back to The Daily Report. I'm Lindsay Reiser. Here are some additions to our top stories. New York City Mayor Eric Adams has named Jessica Tisch as the new commissioner of the city's police department. She's currently the commissioner of the Department of Sanitation. Her appointment comes two months following the resignation of former Commissioner Edward Caban after he was linked to a federal investigation into Adams' inner circle. Bitcoin is on the verge of reaching six figures for the first time. The price of the cryptocurrency has been on a steady rise following President-elect Trump's victory. On the campaign trail, Trump vowed to make the U.S. the crypto capital of the planet. TSA is expecting a potentially record-breaking holiday travel season. With Thanksgiving just a week away, the agency says next Tuesday and Wednesday are said to be the busiest travel days along with the Sunday after the holiday. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says the department has taken steps to make air travel better for passengers, including updated protections for people if travel is disrupted. As we've been reporting, former Florida Congressman Matt Gates has withdrawn from consideration to be president-elect Donald Trump's attorney general. In a social media post, Gates said his confirmation process was becoming a distraction to the larger Trump transition. Gates has faced scrutiny over a House Ethics Committee probe into alleged sexual misconduct and illicit drug use. He denies any wrongdoing. The DOJ also investigated Gates over allegations of sex trafficking but declined to press charges. Joel Lepper joins us now. He's the attorney for two women who told the House Ethics Committee they were paid to have sex with the former congressman. One of those women also claims she saw Gates have sex with a 17-year-old at a party. Joel, first off, I just want to thank you uh, for being here with us. And I want to ask you, what was your reaction when you heard his decision to withdraw? Did you speak to your clients? Did they have any reaction? Yeah, you know, it's just a sense of relief. Now that we have an idea of what foods are getting cheaper, up next, we're going to show you one that's definitely not. We're going to tell you how much this high-profile art piece, yes, that's a banana, sold for at auction. You're streaming The Daily Report. A controversial piece of artwork consisting of a banana duct taped to a wall has sold for millions at auction after one lucky buyer found it appealing. The work titled Comedian from Italian artist Maurizio Catalan sold for $6.2 million in New York Wednesday. 
The piece debuted in 2019 and was shown in nine cities worldwide before it was put up for sale. A Chinese cryptocurrency entrepreneur and art collector was the winning bidder. While some see the work as plain bananas, the artist says it's a commentary on standards among art connoisseurs. Here's a look at some of the stories we're covering in our next hour. New details emerge on sexual assault allegations against President-elect Trump's pick for defense secretary, while Trump's first attorney general pick drops out. We'll break down what's going on with Pete Hexeth and Matt Gates. Plus, a bomb cyclone hits the Northwest, bringing severe weather to millions. We'll have a look at the damage left behind. And the Justice Department wants a Google breakup. What exactly regulators are asking for when it comes to one of the world's most popular Internet browsers? You're streaming CBS News.